happen or if that in fact be actually through my husband. Um, he had been silent for a few months and you know we, we had had our battles back and forth but it was almost like he was preoccupied and he came to me one day and asked if I had heard of orthodoxy. You know we started our journey well over a year ago reading through the Bible and while reading through the Bible it started to make our, our brain hurt because we had questions and nobody could answer the questions we had. We, you know, would ask it and it was just pray, just pray, just pray. And it's like, we are praying, we're reading, what now? And he had come across um, some YouTube videos of orthodoxy and we had never heard of it. And the minute he told me about it, I was like, this is Catholicism, what are you talking about? And he goes, no, he goes, just watch these videos, listen, and tell me your thoughts. And once I started seeing the videos and hearing what was being told, it started to get my brain going and, and thinking some of these questions are being answered. And so <laughs> we came to the conclusion one day that um, we were gonna go to a service. And uh, you know, all the fathers that we had seen on, on YouTube, on in readings, said you have to come and see. We can talk about it all day long, but until you come and see, you are not going to fully understand. And our first service ever in an Orthodox church was five hours because we had no clue what we were doing. So we came for the Othros and we're like, okay, what are we doing? And we sat there, but our children were quiet. And for five hours, we felt fulfilled. And we talked about it and said, we need to go back for a second service. And we came back for a second service and we felt even more love, even more um, presence of the Lord. And there were some subjects that we had been talking about and Father during the service spoke on them. And we knew right then and there, we had found home. And we started um, asking more questions and even our questions were being answered right then and there. Um, and the funny part was, is we had never been confronted. My husband and I have been married for five years, going on five years. And we had never been confronted of having marriage in a church. And when Father asked us, so when are you get married in the church, it blew our minds. And then we started to do more because, again, now we have questions. Why is it so important? You know, we've always wanted to, but what is the significance? Um, so from there, we had more questions, and then we were getting more answers. And then we were continuing our reading, and in our reading, we were finding more and more that we had completely missed and no understanding until we came here and, and to, to St. Nectarios. And the openness of the people to talk about God, to talk about any questions that we had, they'll answer them. They've opened up conversations, and it has just been um, a wonderful experience so far. Um, and then confirmation on things that we have gone through that we are being spiritually attacked. Um, <clears throat> that was probably one of the most satisfying confirmations for us, that we weren't going crazy, that there is a spiritual war going on. And it's going on between families, and it's going on between spouses and children and parents. And that confirmed everything that we needed to know. And then to hear our children talk and and hear how they spoke of the church and how they felt at home and they hadn't felt at home in a very long time. Um, confirmed everything and then once we started the catechumen process, um, it has been uh, an overload of, of information. It has been wonderful information. Anytime we have questions, somehow God has answered them right then and there, whether it's through here or um, you know, uh, hearing it online, um, I had to come to this week of uh, Saint, the Canon of St. Andrew because on Monday I, I felt it, but I'm like, I'm missing something. And coming this week, I have been just flooded with peace, with joy, with happiness. And I am waiting and I'm excited to get to that baptismal. So orthodoxy has been... a gift that God has presented to us because we have had questions for so long, we have searched for so long, and we were never fully fulfilled until now.
and it is everything we had looked for, had hoped for, and we're finding things that we never even thought about or haven't, or have been pushed to the back burner, that this is what we are looking for and searching for. 